Today, our guests, we are honored to have the amazing, the incredible, who also is a good friend of mine, Mike. Uh, our, and Mike is an amazing techpreneur. Do we call you techpreneurs? Uh, nowadays, they call us a job tech platform. Job tech platform. So Mike is the co founder, co-founder of a platform known as Wowzy. And today we're going to talk about that. He's going to tell us about that. But it's really a pleasure to have you. Awesome. Happy to be here. And uh, you and Paula have a very interesting story about how you met. Yeah. In fact, when I saw him, I'm like, I must remind him. So my very first job, very first job ever, I was a recruitment consultant. I know, don't ask me how. Uh, but Mike was actually a very potential candidate for a high job that I wanted to... What, do I, what is it called? Recruit for. Recruit for, yes. Oh, I wow. don't know if you can remember me because I was a cold caller who could behind the phones like this. But Did I even I pick the call because I'm a bit of a snob sometimes? Yeah, you actually <laughs> picked. We had a conversation. It was actually nice. So that's how I know you, Mike. Oh, but awesome. Now, yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Nice I'm to meet you too. I'm looking forward to the conversation today. Wonderful. Oh, fantastic. You know how they say, it's, Nairobi is a ball gum. It's true. I you know. see, <laughs> I imagine if he was mean to you and then now imagine. you'd be like, he's this guy who was so rude. <laughs> Oh my God! So, yeah. what was the job for? So the job at that time, I think you were you were a consultant at McKinsey, mm -hmm. or you were into I don't know. Um, you were working at McKinsey at that time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 that was it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just doing a lot of um, advisory work, helping mm -hmm. different businesses think about their strategy. So it was serious work. Okay. Yeah. Nowadays, I've left that for. Uh, you know, shorts and flips. And you're here. As a, I know. As oh a tech wow! Founder. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so how did you? Uh, yeah, how did you make the switch? How did uh, you move which from was interesting. a um, consultant? Uh, the, the image I have of a consultant is a guy in a suit. Yeah, you know, serious, serious. doing a hundred decks. <laughs> yeah, you know, hundred slide decks uh, to a guy you know wearing flip shops, flip, <laughs> flip flops and shorts. And shorts, yeah, yeah. So it was uh, very interesting. It was very organic how I met my uh, co-founders. So a lot of us were in. Um, transition points in our careers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I have a mutual mentor with my co-founder Brian um, David Gatende is the CEO of uh, um, Davis and Shatliff okay. and he used to mentor me separately mentor Brian separately but you know every now and then tell us about each other uh, then one day he organized a dinner invited two of his beautiful twins so we thought we were being you know connected <laughs> it was a very <laughs> awkward dinner <laughs> But then we figured maybe, you know, uh, David wanted to show the daughters the caliber of men he would like. So, mm -hmm. uh, benchmarking. Shade, yeah. Benchmarking <laughs> exercise. Um, but it went well and then Brian and I just hit it off. He's okay. tech-minded and business-minded. So it was, a, you know, marriage made in heaven and it's been amazing. Uh, we are a COVID baby um, okay. between when Wowzy was launched and now. So the true, you know, indicator of how technology can be able to transform lives. You were a COVID baby. I thought you guys were there since like five years ago. No. I guess it's the impact you had. Two years old. Yeah. So now um, tell us about Wowzy. What is Wowzy? Wowzy is a platform that makes everyone an influencer. Okay. Um, I think this platform has democratized this concept from being elitist. You know, this is for Kim Kardashian and them mm -hmm. to trickling down to the normal morning chief you may. So we have fishermen on there. We have um, moms. We mm -hmm. have students. Um, we have border border riders, and all of them can be deployed by a brand in one way or another, in ways that we haven't seen. We have mechanics, who are probably the best salespeople for engine oil. So, Wait. so those types of unique communities is what was about. We find them, we organize them, we train them, and all they need is a simple phone and access to the internet wow. irrespective of where they are they're able to now monetize their craft okay yeah. and one interesting thing which i really love about was is this powerful vision you have to create two million jobs by 20 yeah, yeah. 2025 20, now mm -hmm. to create um unique jobs for for people we don't even think of them as just jobs we call it dignified and fulfilling so mm. can it be so to create two job, million dignified and fulfilling jobs to African creators. And inherit in, inherently as Africans, we are all storytellers. We tell our stories in authentic ways. Yeah. And finding a platform that allows you to be who you are 
just sharing your story while you're earning is very powerful. Um, so um, two million jobs, um, we are not far from that. We are well on our way to hit our targets. We're in 10 African countries now. And the same concept that we've done in Kenya, we are replicating across Africa. Mm -hmm. And it's resonating because we are all storytellers. Yeah. And everybody's looking for new voices to, to share their stories as, as brands. Okay. And yeah. how many how many people do you have on now on Wowzy? A hundred thousand. Oh my god. Yeah. So there's a hundred thousand people users. every day. Yeah, there's a hundred thousand daily users? users um on Wowzy at the moment. Mm -hmm. Um I would say every day about thirty thousand of them are fully active. Um then you have those who are one off when there's a campaign because it's also demand driven. We have and seasons when there's tons of campaigns and everybody is fully active. Yeah. Uh we have seasons where, you know, just a cohort is is active and also like a typical marketplace the best guys sort of grow to the top yeah and then you find people want to use them more wow. and more and more yeah and you know i was just thinking as he was talking you know us as safaricom we know about wowzy we've worked with wowzy we've seen the impact that they've had but i don't think other brands truly understand what he's trying to do because for example if i'm selling fish oil hypothetically speaking <laughs> I don't even know that I can talk to Mike for that fisherman story you were telling us about that he can actually be an influencer yeah. for, for such brands. Um, you know? Yeah, the guy we are talking about is actually called Ochi Grande. Uh -huh. okay. So Ochi Grande, you'll find him uko uh, machinani uko kwa fisherman. Um, he actually, uh, he's, he, he's actually in Watamu. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, and the interesting thing about him is he self-taught himself a number of languages. So he speaks Portuguese, he mm. speaks French, he speaks Italian. Italian. Because mm -hmm. that's the language of, you know, the huge tourism there. Yeah. And so when you look at this guy, his following is both very local, his friends and family, but also it's international. So beyond even that fishing oil, we've been trying to sell him to Kenya Tourism Board, for example, to say, hey, yeah. here is a guy who, if you look at his followership metrics, it's a lot of Italians who are trying to figure out what else they could do in Kenya mm -hmm. beyond just going to the, the uh, you know, Watamu and all the beaches. So interesting guy. We did a campaign with him and... Uh, Safaricom, and his mandate was to just showcase how strong the internet is and the network is in the middle of the sea. Wow. Because they use it uh, yeah. to communicate, to yeah. tell each other where where you are. And it's like, yeah, you know, hello. Yeah. Like Wonderful. that clarity means he's able to communicate back to his other friends. Um, I don't know if you've been to the park, for instance, and all these people are telling each other of where the best, where where the lions are. Lions, yeah. Mm. Kichwa. Mm. They usually yeah. say Kichwa. Mm. <laughs> and then mm. everyone rushes. So, did you yeah. see that video the other day when exactly. it was even <laughs> overwhelming? Oh, yeah? Like, the, the, yeah, it was like, you know, it yeah. was uh, one of those the park lion videos. The confused. Yeah. No, it was just like, all of a sudden, there were like, <laughs> there was no one car and then shortly there was like a hundred. <laughs> they even oh my God, they all <laughs> called each other. And this is in the yeah. middle of the bush. Yeah. 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 So picture that, but for fishermen. Okay. Where is the best yield? Mm -hmm. What they doing today? Tonight? Yeah. So they're communicating in there and without like great connectivity or clarity, you might miss your days, you know, um, fish. Yeah. Um, and you know, someone like Ochi Grande not only does that, but while I teach, they're recording each other in this earning money on Safaricom wow. campaign. Wonderful. How does he make money? That's what I want to know. So yeah. as an influencer, right? So I understand how he makes money from fish. Yes. Because he fishes <laughs> and he can. How is that recording? Yeah. How does he actually end up making money? And about how much money does somebody like Ochi Grande make? Exactly. So, so Ochi Grande is what we call a nano influencer. Mm -hmm. So for a video like that, probably he's earning, you know, 5K shillings. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that's more than sometimes he makes in a whole day. Mm, yeah. um, and for him, essentially, he just ends while telling his story. Mm. Um, and you find brands like Safaricom are looking for something authentic. I think mm -hmm. one problem was, can we get authentic voices? Mm -hmm. The other problem was, there's over-concentration of urban influences, yet you're a national network true mm -hmm. so how do we get people out of the cities and even complement radio as yeah. a channel mm. so this whole concept of vernacular influencers so you can imagine ochi now starting to speak in um key 
ki um, what's the name um that's swahili yeah. whatever yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the local the local dialect, yeah and actually just telling the people that this is this is it um yeah it's pretty powerful yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. i think it's also very interesting how is probably anyway going to be on recording videos right he's really yes. probably online yes. anyway. yeah yeah so it's about the power of actually now being connected or be, being there on instagram or on facebook actually gets you paid because you get paid based on how many views yeah, you get oh. paid in terms of your reach mm-hmm. and also what we call engagement mm-hmm. um and nowadays uh, we've convinced a lot of brands to do something called bonus pay so if you succeed beyond the kpis or the expectations you might just get another There's check. There's an incentive. I love yeah, it. So it's creating additional incentives. And then for Ochi, remember he also has an international audience. And he's constantly trying to position himself as the go-to beach boy. Um well, I don't know if you like <laughs> to call that. But the go-to person, beach, beach boy content influencer, <laughs> content to, creator influencer. The go-to tour guide. I think that's a better term. Yeah. So if I'm leaving for I'm leaving from Nairobi and mm-hmm. I'm going there with my crew, mm-hmm. Who do we contract to show us around? To show us the dolphins. Wow, yeah. Show us the island. Mm-hmm. So he's always online, also marketing his himself, mm-hmm. and that's how you see him getting a lot of both local and international clients, and they can wow. communicate there as Italian. I actually think it's a great ad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <I know. laughs> you go for wow. it. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think also another interesting um thought, uh, and I think it's what you were saying with regards to mm-hmm. as a brand as a marketing person you have your budget right yeah and traditionally you put your budget on tv you put it on radio yeah so now what you're telling me is when i put this amount of money uh ochi actually gets the money yes yeah so it's it's taking advertising budgets back to the pockets of people mm-hmm. um, it's a very revolutionary idea if you think of the flow of advertising budgets the truth is it will end up somewhere in london stock exchange you know somehow mm. but then today a local business that is homegrown mm-hmm. can be able to get better if not uh, more ROI mm-hmm. by leveraging the media entrepreneurs of the future okay. so these guys we actually don't see them just as mm-hmm. influencers or creators they're actually entrepreneurs because he has to invest in a phone he has to invest in data but then that then gives him access to opportunity uh, wow. different brands to work with um yeah and it could be also just a young dancer who doesn't realize that his dance skills could be the reason um in Auma by Saudi Soul True. go viral mm. and and he's just dancing on TikTok but with Wowzy he can come in uh, whenever that song hits he can go do his little dance and help a musician take their song to go viral so there's that capability as well yeah so i'm actually looking at your website mike and um i can see here join the wowzy community so how exactly can someone join the wowzy community so it's amazing all you need is a phone and 250 followers which almost everyone 250000 or 250 250. Ah, that Just means you and us, we are I know. We are not looking for much money should we make. <laughs> and you are a thought leader. Yeah, thought I leader. know. So thought leader nanos even make more. Oh, how much? Articles, uh, oh, articles. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Oh, I'm serious. <laughs> <laughs> like, tell us how much. Show us. Uh, just give an estimate. You can, wow. You can, you can okay. Make quite a good, uh, Interesting. Money, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How so, much? Tell so us. So we've seen, we've seen um, um, in a Twitter space, mm-hmm. you know, thought leaders making up to 50k um you know to moderate a panel wow. so it won't be like you posting a photo with um oh know, so i don't need to be a content no, creator no, per se no we've actually demystified that and pushed the thinking that you are a voice of influence um wow you know and we have converse conservationalists in the platform talking about climate change mm-hmm. we have economists nowadays mm-hmm. talking about the cost of living so we've shifted from just content creation to some of this pink fluence kind of models. Wow, well. Kendi, you're sleeping on your back. <laughs> no, in fact, I'm, I just had that idea. idea. <laughs> I'm like, how can we make <laughs> this? I know. <laughs> make we money. Are content creating. <laughs> we need to talk after this and exactly. get, get on. Absolutely. Us, and we make money. I, yeah. mean, yeah. I think it's such a cool idea. Yeah. Because yeah, no, we, we didn't know. Play store. So a lot of all these people who have, you know, Mm-hmm. mobile phone 
mm-hmm. go to the Play Store, mm-hmm. download the Wowzy app. Okay. And just very simple process in terms of onboarding mm-hmm. and you'll be eligible for jobs. Oh, really? Yeah. So how do I make sure that like I'm seen by, by Wowzy? Like as a nano influencer who has like 200 followers on Instagram, for instance. Yeah. How do how do I make myself seen so that you can select me for the yeah. jobs? So it's been interesting. A, a lot of them have been very creative. Um, so they go create content and then tag the brand. So in mm. some of our campaigns, it, it's been very interesting where the brand is like, why do I even need to look for influencers? I already have my super fans mm-hmm. who are always there sending witty memes, mm-hmm. you know, bantering with my brand. Mm-hmm. Go find them as Wowzy. We go find them verify them you know groom them and then enable them to work in your campaign so that has been very powerful oh wow yeah interesting super fans as your creators mm. um so so that that has been a trick i've seen most of them doing like really tagging guys mm-hmm. but at the same time the platform has its own inbuilt training modules so you might find a lot of uh, wow. lives that are happening um we have an idea now to create like a creator uh, starter pack so as a creator joining, can you get a pack that has a phone, that has a ring light, that has a playbook, et cetera, et cetera. And that then becomes your, you know, the way in school they say you're given you permission to go read. Yeah. Mm. This is, we give you now permission to create. Wow. You know? I like that. Um, and the beauty is because we have like income coming from the brands, we can lipam dogum dogo it or whatever. You know, true, and and eventually these guys will have the tools they need to to succeed. Mm-hmm. So we think of you as joining as a nano, two hundred and fifty to five thousand followers, building yourself into a micro, uh, where you've discovered your niche content. Is it beauty? Is it food? Is it lifestyle? Comedy, is it yeah. comedy? Is it think influencing? Mm-hmm. Uh, where you think influencing? I like that. I know. <laughs> Excuse me, people. I am a think fluencer. Don't just look at me. Think fluencer. Yeah, exactly. So is it that? And once you discover it, you start growing and growing to a mega, to a meta. And now with platform partnerships, because we've seen, you know, platforms such as TikTok coming to partner with Wowzy to say, hey, how can we now discover people before they're discovered? Because they can see in the algorithm that, you know, candy has potential. If only... She just dances once or whatever. Yeah, you yeah. Can I think I blow her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> For yeah. example, and so we take them. Um, we we'll take them through this process and help you with the tools, the monetizations, mm-hmm. and that's why you're hearing all this craze about creator houses, uh, which also malls are taking up. Um, you can go to a mall like Garden City, find Selfie Village. Boots I've seen that. Content. Have you seen it? No. I'll show you photos. Yeah. Yeah. They've like, done you just go a, to a mall? perfect yeah. spot. In fact, it was even <laughs> very good for like a exactly. launch for youth platforms. At exactly. Garden City? Yes. Yeah. So you yeah. go there, it's already set up. It's All set the equipment up. is there. Fully set up. You just have to Boots. go take photos, um, your take thing? your content. Yeah. It's so fantastic. If someone is listening to this today, yeah. they can just go to Gade, yeah. and yes. go, go do that, get onto Wowzy, yes. and they start making money. They start making money. In fact, the first booth will be, you know, Wowzy booth will be telling them what to do uh, and so on and so forth. So it's like we're moving beyond just, um, yes, you have the tools, but mm-hmm. how can we now build you up yeah. mm. to take it to the next level? Wow. The best story that I'm really proud of is what I was saying you earlier, looks like a Vido, great fashion designer mm-hmm. from Kibera to the world, we call it. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, he's a big brand ambassador for, for carrying it. You know? wow. wow. Went all the way to South Africa. And it's what I'm calling creator as an asset. Yeah. So guys are moving from that transactional, how many posts, how many reels, to can we actually partner mm. as creator and brand to, to take this to the next level, 360. Yeah. Um, and that's becoming very powerful. So I have a question first. Just take me slowly. Because now you call, <laughs> you call me, I think, fluencer. So I'm, I'm invested. I'm like... <laughs> There's an opportunity. So, yeah. mm-hmm. tell me the different. How many followers do I need to be? When you say I'm a nano, mm-hmm. how many are those? As a micro, to five thousand. Two fifty to five thousand is a yeah, nano. It's a nano, mm-hmm. and those ones earn about five k. Yes. Yeah. Um, depending yeah. on on. Um, but something interesting has happened. Brands have started talking about the nano premiums. So you're a nano who creates content Exclusive that blows content. people away. Okay. Mm. And those guys are even getting into the minimum wage level, which is 150, um, 15,000 shillings to 50K. Wow. Um, we've even seen brands that are like, 
you know, if you can create great content, we don't care about your followership at all. Mm. We, we are really just paying you for the creativity, for creativity. The content. Mm. And this we are seeing with guys like, you know, crazy artists um, like Wix. She's just a crazy artist. She'll take your brand and blow it up. So it's not really about followership. Her things go viral anyway, like what she did throwing the making the Kenyan flag with uh, with, oh, with rice. I remember that. Okay. Mm. So brands have now picked her up mm -hmm. uh, or mini chaps. <laughs> yeah, I know mini tiny, chaps. Yeah. Tiny, tiny, tiny I know. People. Yeah. So, so you're finding brands who are now saying, bring us those unique people. Uh -huh. Find them wherever they are. Is it Avido who makes great um, artistry and fashion in Kibera? We'll take him and take him to the next level. Is it Wix who's doing all these artist things? Uh, they're looking at these creators from passion points. Um, so that's really powerful. So, but still, you haven't answered. So, 250 to 5,000 is nano. 250 mm -hmm. to 5,000 in nano. Mm -hmm. 5,000 to 30,000 is micro. Micro. Um, 30,000 to 100,000 is what you call macro. Mm -hmm. um, 100,000 to 500,000 is mega. Mega. So that's like um, in a jugush. Yes. Those guys yes. over there. 500,000 and above is super. Um, so even between between super, between super mega and super is meta than super. So there's always growth and that's mm. what we're building. Um, yeah, you can always grow into one way or another. And your earning potential is mm. grows as well. Yeah. So when you're in nano, you keep increases. by the time you're meta, you're just like yeah. Michael, the, Ma Mike Zuckerberg. By the time guys are meta, they Mark Zuckerberg. We we say it lightly, but they earn better than even the wowsy founders, and we are like, wow, are we in the wrong profession? Yeah. Because wow. wow. you can see the amount of money that's going through. You're like, wow, okay. But that time it's a full time job. You, yeah. It's not a perif. It's not a side income. It's mm. something you do for life. You know, I'm yeah. just getting so excited as you speak because this is exactly what we were trying to do two years ago when we had the Blaze um, brand, our youth um, sub-brand. And what we were basically trying to do is just make sure that, that the youth know that there's more to um, careers other than the usual conventional ones that we tell them to do. You mm -hmm. don't need to be a lawyer to make money. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be, a, I'm not saying don't be a lawyer, <laughs> but you don't need to be like a doctor for you to earn a living. Yeah. So it's an amazing way to just create unconventional careers out of, you know, young people, Gen Zs and the rest. Yeah. Precisely. And, and, and when I, I like what you're saying because I know, you know, first year we are representative of uh, generations. <laughs> when, when I started my career, there was not, well, digital was not <laughs> niche thing, yeah. right? And and you guys are actually living and and building. I remember that time as a creative. I mean, why why when you tell your folks you want to be I don't know an artist mm. or a musician, it was just like my God, we've taken you to school for all these years yeah. Yeah. for nothing. There's no ROI yeah. to those careers. Yeah. Mm. So I think what this is, it just creates an opportunity where first you can actually do what you're passionate about. Yeah. Yeah, you can actually do what you care about. If you're creative, if you're, I like what you're, the example of mini chips, you don't have to conform to what everyone wants. You just yeah. do what you want and be passionate about what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. And actually you can make money and earn income from that. Which exactly. I, think is such yeah. a I mean, the, thing. the best creator in the world is this Senegalese kid, Kabi, mm. who's has millions of followers. And he doesn't talk. <laughs> without ever saying a oh, word. You know him? Yeah. That's a guy. He's, he's a meme. He's I also know, a meme, I know. Right? And he's, and he's on TikTok, right? Yes, he, TikTok. He, he actually blew up on TikTok during yes. COVID. Yes, he blew up on TikTok. Yeah. And now, guess what? He's the brand ambassador for Boss. Wow. He's yes. He's been selected as a brand ambassador for FIFA. Yeah, World I Cup. was about to say something about football because yes. I saw him with like footballers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he has moved beyond just content creation. He's created his own store. You can wow. go and buy anything from Kabi. Wow, uh, he'll drop ship it anywhere in the world. So he's what? Now, now the biggest e-commerce platform. Yeah. That's another <laughs> very interesting thing, and 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 actually, I think we should talk about that. Mm -hmm. So also, there's that thing of, and maybe you can give us another local example. Yeah, of people who've started as content creators. So yeah. I start with an in Instagram, TikTok, Facebook page. And then based on now just, you know, how, how do you develop yourself now to actually e-commerce, actually yeah. buying and selling product? Yeah, we call it social commerce. Mm -hmm. Social commerce. And it's, it's, we've tested it. It's simple. So a lot of the, um, a lot of the creators who, some of them, I have an example of one who was moving houses mm -hmm. and she sold all her house appliances for the previous house on stories. Oh, uh, wow. And it was so crazy that people are paying on M-Pesa and she had to return some of the money because guys are paying at the same time. Yeah. I want that fridge now. I want that shoe now. I want that. 
and it starts crazy. And then Wowzy has tested it to see, okay, is it a fluff? And we sold so many AirPods on, on TikTok Live. Wow. So it's crazy. And, and, and that's now because a lot of people, eyeballs have shifted. Guys are now purchasing online and creators are discovering it. Um, the most followed fashion platform in Kenya would be by uh, this lady called Winnie Njanga, High Styles. Mm-hmm. And yes. she's built a following of a half a million. Authentically, high styles. Authentically not fashionable. All the men know yes. high styles. <laughs> we all know. No. <laughs> they put, they <laughs> hook. I know. Uh, they have this like marketing hook where they put ladies to dance yes. in oh, outfits. No, no, Away. <laughs> but your typical lady has bought something. True. High definitely. So when I met uh, when I met her, she was like, you know, I don't depend on brands for me to live. Wow. I love that. I can actually She's broken life. free. <laughs> She's broken free. <laughs> yes. And so yeah. it means when we go to her with brands, it's her choice. Does it oh, resonate wow. with me? Is it aligned with my interest? I don't depend on She's it. This is just additional income. Literally her own boss. Yes. I okay. love that. And I think that's such an important thing because I think one of the things I've struggled with, especially with the creative space, is everyone is coming to you, especially, and I think with Safaricom is a mm-hmm. bigger concern mm-hmm. i want sponsorship i want sponsorship and if sponsorship doesn't come you know if budgets are cut or you don't have budgets then now guys are stuck yeah mm-hmm. right so i love the idea of actually you can actually empower yourself yeah find something you to are sell a shop yeah that's what you're telling me true you are an, a shop you know sell whatever you're selling a uh, platform such as walls will help you with that transaction and and also now e-commerce but we are now defining the global culture so if we know that is true we should just ask ourselves which platforms should we uh, align with should we position ourselves with to be able to earn meaningfully and yeah um Wowzy is one of those platforms that you can check out love yeah. it Kindi? my parting shot you know the other day <laughs> i was talking to a couple of friends of mine and it's, it's similar because you know i think even why we're friends is because we share this passion for africa and i'm such a i'm so impatient because mm-hmm. i'm like it's our time yeah and my, I, was, I follow banner boy on on instagram and if you see the kind of concerts that Bado, he's doing now, he's doing a whole tour in, in the US and I think Europe. And it, it's like when I was growing up, the kind of concerts you'd see U2 or Bono. Mm-hmm. You know, stadiums filled. There's a whole bunch of people singing in Pigeon. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, wow. And that is because of the internet. Exactly. Right? Absolutely. The, the, there's something so beautiful about um, understanding what the opportunity is for you mm-hmm. right and really seeing what is it that i can do in my world whether it's in fashion whether it's in beauty and not waiting so i think for me that what i've heard and the thing that i'm taking out of this is don't wait for some there's no one who's coming to save you yeah or to rescue you right B- save yourself get your phone your smartphone first so everyone please you must have a smartphone if you're going to survive mm-hmm. into the future Absolutely. as an individual as a business but then more importantly be in the plan you have to be there to see what makes sense for you and how to make money true mm-hmm. so you have to go there with a mindset of saying how am I, how is this actually improving my income so that if i'm spending 20 bob on a on a bundle on a data bundle mm-hmm. it's not an expense it's not mm-hmm. something nimetupa. it's actually something that is going to give me 100 bob or 200 bob and i think the more young people and all of us start to think like that the more we'll now actually end up being in that banner boy space eventually. True, yeah? absolutely. Where people are actually paying you and giving you money to do what you love. On your terms. On your terms. Yeah. I mean, that's the freedom we all want, right? Can guess he charges per post? No, I, I, banner boy. I don't want stress. Just tell us. Just tell <laughs> us so that we can have a KPI. So you, you, you guys don't start discussions unless it's half a million dollars. Dollars. million dollars per point. post. Yeah. I don't want stress. Imagine that. <laughs> no, it's not stress. It's <laughs> Nini. Future. That could be you, Paula. It could be that me. That could be you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. What's Great. Your parting shot? My parting shot mm-hmm. is as long as you have a phone and an internet connection, you can make money. And also that the internet is for everyone. Imagine the internet is for everyone. As long as you have 250 followers, get on Wowzy, make your money, 
doesn't matter which career you're in doesn't matter what side hustle you're in you can actually make money i mean we are always on the internet all of us right so you might as well make money so with that said um safaricom has amazing amazing smartphone offers uh, please visit your nearest safaricom shop get your smartphone and also visit my safaricom app we have a variety of data offers for everyone an hour bundle hourly bundles weekly bundles monthly bundles so please get on it Molecule. Molecule on the internet. internet. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Oh, it was Welcome. such a pleasure Thank having you. you. Yeah. And I think Had if you want to, yeah. yeah. And it's if you want to find uh, Wowzy, as we said, go online um, www.wowzy.co. Co. There's Just no, co. There's no yeah. ke. Yeah. Just see, oh. see this digital <laughs> <laughs> Every day it's different. www.wowzy.co. <laughs> uh, and then if you want to know about more about MSK, www.msk.co.ke. And uh, I think Paula said, if you want to get your bundle, you know where to go. Great. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. See All you right. next time. Cheers. Thank Bye. Miu to me a YouTube bundle ya 20 years Safaricom. Hiu ni wezesha ku expand knowledge yangu, whereby naeza tengeneza gari yenye technology yao ni different from iza kawaida. Na ma, ma customer wangu usema kuna gari na shinda umweke, like imeni boostia biz sana. Bigger star, 544 star, 20 hash to get your YouTube bundle today with the fastest 4G popote. Mwelekeo ni internet. Mwelekeo ni internet.